In this tutorial, we'll run through setting up your Canal Booker account, running through the Setup Wizard, and entering your first booking. To begin using Canal Booker, click on the Start My Free 14 Day Trial button. On the next screen, enter in your own name and your kennel's name and your email address. and then choose a password. Agree to the terms and conditions and click start. This is the setup wizard for Kennel Booker. It's quite simple to go through and takes about 60 seconds. Click get started. On the next screen, choose the country in which you're located. In this case, we're gonna choose the United States. We're going to choose the services that we offer. So in our kennel, we're going to do boarding, daycare, and grooming. There are additional services such as homestay bookings, dog walking bookings, training bookings, and a whole host of other things that can be turned on later in the settings menu. But for the moment, we'll just choose boarding, daycare, and grooming, and then click next. Next, we're going to be asked what kind of pets we accept at our facility. Uh, in this case, we're going to click dogs and cats. There are additional pet types, which you can again turn on in the settings menu later on, but we're just going to choose dogs and cats for now. Um, next up, we're going to set up how our runs or rooms are configured. Um, so for our dog runs, we're going to say that they are different sizes. So we have small, medium and large dog runs. We're going to have uh, five small runs, let's say five medium and two large. And the small runs can handle up to two dogs, the medium up to three and the large up to five. And for our cat runs, we are going to say they are all the same size. So we're going to have 10 cat rooms and they can hold two cats each. Then click next. Next, we're going to set up how you charge <clears throat> at your facility. So we're going to charge in US dollars and we're going to charge a nightly rate. You can also charge a daily rate if you wish. So for nightly rates, we're going to set up a rate. So it's um, for dogs, let's say flash dog rate. And we are going to set that up for dogs and we're going to charge $20 per night for cats. I'm going to charge a flat rate as well of $15 per night. And then we're going to go a second dog sharing. And let's see, we give it a discount. So we'll charge 15 and we're going to say second cash sharing. We're going to charge 10. Uh, additional pet rates um, can be entered into the system again from the settings menu. Um, if you charge a one dog, two dog, three dog rate, you can enter those as well. Um, and the system is quite flexible and can handle a var large variety of pricing structures. Again, if your kennel or facility is has a complex pricing structure, um, we can enter uh, add in a custom pricing algorithm into the system for you so the price is automatically calculated for you. I'm going to click next. Um, next we're on to the daycare setup. So in our daycare facility we're going to take in a maximum of 20 dogs per day and we are going to charge a one standard price. Um, there's also the option of choosing a multiple pricing options. Um, this allows you to set a one dog, two dog, three dog price. So one dog might be $20 a day, two dogs might be $30, four dogs might be $40 for instance so we're going to charge each dog the same amount so we're going to charge 12 euros a day for daycare and that is it that's the wizards click save and you'll jump into the dashboard of kennel booker and there's a small little wizard that runs through some of the options on the screen and um, you can add a booking quickly by hitting the add booking button up in the top right hand corner of the screen Check-ins and check-outs will be displayed on the left-hand side of the screen. And this is your main calendar, which shows you how many bookings you have and what, how many runs are occupied on that 
night. Um, down towards the bottom of the screen, you're going to see the bookings made in the past seven days. You're going to see your daycare bookings over here and your grooming bookings for the day. You can also toggle between days so you can see who's checking in on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, etc. And you can go back through the days as well. So we're going to add our first booking into the system. So to add your first booking, click on the add booking button. Next, click the add the check-in date. So we're going to choose the 16th and we're going to check out on the 23rd. And for the number of pets for this booking will be one. So we're going to check out ability. We have no customers in, entered into the system at the moment. So we're going to add a new customer. Um, so we're going to add the customer's details. Sarah O'Callaghan. Address is optional. Um, Sarah at kennelbooker.com. And we're going to add a made up phone number. Uh, the customer's pet we are going to call Denji. It is a dog and it is a border collie. Additional pet breeds can ent be entered uh, into the system at any point as well if uh, it is not listed there. We're going to add this customer to the database and uh, next up we're going to set the rates and allocate the pets to the particular runs. So for this case we are going to assign Benji to run number one and we're going to assign it a flat dog rate of 20 dollars per night. You can see here from the rates dropped on this only the rates for that particular pet type are shown so the cash rates are obviously hidden. So click next. So the system will calculate how much the booking is for. It's $140 for the the nights in question. Um, we also have the option of saving this rate against the customer and pet. So for future bookings if and adding a booking again for Benji this rate will be remembered and automatically filled in. This is very handy for when you've got a customer with a large number of pets and you may assign certain um, additional discounts. Um, so we're going to save the rates for this pet and we're going to click next. Next up we see a basic recap of the booking and we get to click on the create booking button. So on the next screen, we have now added the booking to the system and we are shown a basic template for our confirmation booking. Um, the booking templates are stored in the settings menu and they can be customized to include whatever information you wish. Um, each of the templates can be filled in with placeholders and then we will swap out the placeholders with particular text. So if you have a placeholder for first name, we will add the customer's first name in for that placeholder. Um, and then you can send the confirmation email by clicking this button here, or you can alternatively set the system up so these emails go out without you having to click on a button, but some customers prefer to edit the text or take out things for particular bookings. Um, the email has now been sent. So from here we can jump into the booking itself and we'll see the basic boarding booking detail screen. So here you will see that this pet is due to check in today. So we've been informed that you're either checked them in or cancel the booking if the, if the customer is not coming in. You will see the booking dates, uh, any booking notes you've entered. You will also see the pets that are on the booking. You have the option here of printing out a run card from the system. So if you click on this little PDF icon here, a PDF will open up which will have the boarding booking details as well as any emergency contact information, any vaccination information that we have on file, and any feeding and medication information as well. And these run cards are normally printed out and then posted on the room or run for that particular pet. On the right hand side of the screen we have the booking costs. So we can see here that the bookings for seven nights, it's $140. Customers currently paid nothing off their bill and they've $140 outstanding. Further down the screen, we can enter manual payments. So if a customer comes in and decides that they want to pay, uh, let's say $50 off their booking on check-in and they paid cash and let's say they selected today, we're just going to mark this as a deposit and we click add. 
This payment is added into the system and then is deducted off the cost of the booking. So you can see it was marked as a deposit, so $50 is marked as a deposit and there's 90 remaining on the booking. Further down the screen, we can see the emails and SMS details. So SMS is an additional service which you can turn on from the settings. Um, you can see that the confirmation booking was sent. If you hover over the little clock, you can see at what time and uh, day it was sent. And then you also have the option of resending that confirmation if any of the details of the booking change or if the customer says they may not have received it in case it went into their spam or other folder in their email clients. Um, you also have a receipt slash invoice email which you can send out. Now by default this doesn't get sent out until the booking checks out of the system. At that point we send the customer an email with a PDF receipt um, of their booking. Um, some kennels like to send this booking on slightly earlier so the customer knows the full cost of their booking. If you wish to send this just click on send and the system will generate an email and send it to the client. At the top of the screen, you're gonna see a few more tabs. So you've got the runs and rates tab where you can add additional pets to the booking. And we're just gonna jump in there now. You can see what run that the pet is assigned to. You can change the uh, run allocation here. You can also reorder these runs uh, into any order you wish from the settings. And you can change the rate if you wish to. You can also remove a pet from a booking over here by clicking on the red remove pet icon or you can add additional pets to the booking up here. There is also the option in Kennel Booker of splitting a booking across multiple runs. So in busy periods around Christmas or Thanksgiving or summertime, you may not have a continuous allocation of slots for a booking, but you may be able to accommodate a booking over a number of slots. Um, the system allows you to do that quite easily. And this information will be displayed on the booking and the run card so you know which run the pet needs to be in on any particular night. Um, further across the menu is pet postcards. So when in your facility uh, your customers may want to see how their dog is getting on especially when they're on holidays and they may be worried about their their pet dog or cat and how they're getting on. Pet postcards allows you to take a picture um, and send that in an email to the client or customer extremely quickly. Um, and then the fourth tab, fifth tab along the top is the customer tab. So if you click into the customer tab, you're going to see a the client's record. So you're going to see their first name, surname, address details, etc., their email address, secondary email addresses, and a few more bits and pieces. Um, you also have the option of tagging this customer, so if they accept emails, if they're a VIP customer. Um, if you use the online booking tool, you may want to block certain customers from submitting bookings online for any particular reason. Um, you also have the option of applying a default discount to a customer for either uh, daycare or boarding, and you can also turn this on for grooming bookings as well. Further down the screen, you've got the option of entering the vet details for the customer. So we're going to create a new vet really quickly. So uh, let's call it Arc Vet Care. And again, add a phone number and a address. And click update. Now this vet goes into a separate table where you can assign the same vet to multiple customers. So you may not want to add the same vet multiple times into the system. So this allows you to set one vet up once and use it multiple times. Over in the right hand side of the screen, you're gonna see the total revenue generated for this customer over their lifetime. And you're gonna see any outstanding money uh, owed on any bookings. Here you're going to see the customer's current and future bookings, and then you can expand this panel here to see any past or previous bookings that they've made. A little bit further down the screen, you're gonna see the customer's pets. You can add an additional pet by clicking on the add pet button. So we are going to add a cat. So enter in their name, enter in their type, and then it'll refresh with the breeds. So we'll call it Brazilian Shorthair and click Save Pet. Now the cat has now been entered into the system and you can click into the View Pet icon here to view some more information. We're gonna jump into that in just a second. 
Further down the screen, you've got the emergency contact information. Again, you can expand this panel and you can enter in the um, emergency contact name, address, phone number, and email, etc. This information again is added to the run card. And then there's a few administration functions further down. So if we jump into Benji's record, in the pet record, you have the option of entering a lot more information. So you can enter in the color, the sex, their date of birth, it'll automatically calculate the pet's age. You can add in registration, microchip numbers, the pet's weight, the pet's um, size, and the insurance details. You can set a temperament, so we will say he's passive. Here you can see the default rate that we saved earlier on. You can add in any notes on the, on the pet, and dietary requirements, medical information, and history. Um, over on the side of the screen here, you can enter in a picture for the pet. So when the pet is on site, you might pop out your smartphone, snap a quick picture, log into the system and upload it for future reference. For vaccinations, you can click on the add new button and then a list of default vaccinations will appear. You can customize this list in the settings further so you can remove uh, vaccinations which aren't applicable to you or you can add your own. Um, so for instance, we are going to say canine influenza. We're going to enter in a date of 2018, let's say June and the first, and then we're going to save that vaccination. So you can see here, we've got a valid vaccination up until the 1st of June, 2018. If you enter a vaccination, let's choose this one, which is in the past and click save any expired vaccinations will appear in red and they'll appear in red as well when you're checking in the customer and creating bookings for that customer. Um, to jump back into the booking, we're gonna go back to the booking very quickly and we are going to check that customer in. So check-ins are quite simple. You can one click check in by clicking the check-in button or you've got the option of checking in the customer and updating their vaccinations. So the system will alert you if there's vaccinations out of dirt, out of date. You also have the options in the settings of setting particular vaccinations as required. So for canine influenza, you may have that marked as a required vaccination and the system will be a little bit smarter and tell you what vaccinations are required for a particular booking. So in this case, we're going to click check in and you can see the bookings now being marked as checked in and you can see that they are seven days until they check out. If you jump into the daily overview screen up on the top menu, you're going to see an overview for your kennel for a particular day. So any bookings that are due to check in will appear at the top of the screen. You've got your current occupants list listed here. So this is gonna have your boarding, daycare, grooming bookings, and then anybody who's due to check out on a particular day. Further down, we've also got um, panels for scheduled services, any feeding information, and any medication that needs to be administered on a particular day. So for the scheduled services, so scheduled services are things that you may add to a booking. So if you have a boarding booking checking in and on the last day of the booking, the customer wishes to have their dog washed, um, you can add a dog wash to the boarding booking and then schedule it so it appears on this list of scheduled services for the last day of the booking. To add additional services to the system, we're just gonna jump into settings. Uh, go into kennel settings and then come down to additional services. Um, so we're going to add a quick service here. We're going to call it dog wash. We're going to set a price of $10 and we're going to apply it to dog boarding bookings. This is valid and it's available online as well. And we're going to create that charge. Um, so if we jump back to this screen and then jump into the boarding booking, we are going to be able to add that service to the booking by either clicking on this button here called add services or by clicking into add products and services tab on the menu. So we're gonna click over here and we're gonna click add services. So we will see the dog wash added here. We can click add, we're gonna add a quantity of one to the booking and we have it here. So we have the ability then to add additional information to that service. So we're gonna assign the service to Benji. Um, 
the date of the booking is the 23rd, so we're going to schedule for the 23rd. Actually, we're going to schedule it for today, so it shows up on the daily overview screen. It's going to be 11 o'clock. Um, let's say it takes 30 minutes, and we're going to update those details. So if we jump back out of the daily overview screen, we're now going to see that schedule service appear here on the screen. So you can see the customer, what type of service it is, how long it's supposed to be for, and what time it needs to be carried out at, as well as any notes that you enter into the system. If we go back into the booking, just to show you how quick it is to check out a booking, we're just going to change the booking dates back a week, and then we're going to see that the customer is due to check out today. So in order to check out the customer, you simply click on the check out button, and that is it. The booking has now been checked out. Over on the side of the screen, you can still see that there's a balance outstanding on the booking. You can enter payment details over here. So let's say the customer checked out, and they paid via Visa, and they paid today. We're going to click Add. The booking has now got a zero balance left on it. It's also been marked as paid. And the customer now has the option of getting their invoice slash email receipt. So if we click on send, the system will generate the email, generate the PDF, and send them both off to the customer. You can also see the receipt that the customer gets by clicking on the receipt button up on top. Here you will see a HTML version of the receipt, and by clicking on the download PDF, you can download a PDF of that receipt and send it to the customer. And that is a quick tutorial on setting up your Kennel Booker account, adding your first booking, updating and entering pet information, and checking out a booking. We will have future videos which will cover some more topics in depth, including daycare bookings, grooming bookings, and a lot of the additional services and settings that you can turn on from the settings menu.